Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for watching. So today's video is super exciting. Well, it's exciting for me because I freaking love autumn or fall or however you say it. I just love the kind of makeup. I love all of the colours and getting really cosy, watching Hocus Pocus and then leading up to Christmas. It's like my favourite, favourite time of year. And I thought, of course, I've got to do an autumn makeup tutorial. I thought I would hit it off straight away with a dark lip because I haven't done one of these in so long. So hopefully this helps you kind of decide what kind of eye to wear with a dark lip because I know it can be a little bit intimidating. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoy the tutorial. Hopefully it inspires you to change up your routine this season. But yeah, if you are new here, don't forget to subscribe. If you want to see how I got this look right here, then just keep on watching. So I'm going to start with um, a little bit of skin today. So I know that I want to go in with some darker... Actually, no. Right, let's do all of the skin first. Obviously, feel free to do whatever you prefer. Sometimes I do eyes last sometimes I do them first it depends if I'm going to go in with like black eyeshadow but I'm pretty sure I'm not going to go crazy dark I mean I say that every time but we'll just wait and see but I know I want to do like something really autumn I mean you've just seen what it looks like because I've just done an intro um but yeah let's just get straight into it I'm actually using a very old foundation well it's not old it's new but it's old to me <laughs> like I used to wear it all the time but it is the MAC Studio Fix Fluid Foundation in the shade NC37 I used to wear this when I worked at MAC and it was literally my go-to foundation every day I wouldn't wear anything else so I'm going to use that with a Spectrum B05 brush so this is a domed foundation brush so it is quite um fluffy so it really like diffuses the product because I find sometimes when I use a beauty blender it applies too much everywhere so I'll probably just use a beauty blender um over the areas where I want more coverage um and then I'll use this to kind of buff it out and shear it in certain areas so all over the skin I'm kind of like buffing just a light layer and this layer is kind of just to like match my um face with my body because like obviously my shoulders are a little bit more tan than my face um so just kind of getting the color right first by just applying a very sheer amount in kind of circular motions and anywhere where i want a little bit more coverage i'll just use the sponge to kind of dab it over the skin so that way when you dab it onto the skin it doesn't move the product around but let's go on to brows so I'm going to use the eyebrow bean um, blonde brow pencil I'm just going to draw a line underneath my brow um, and then the same on the top and kind of fill it in lightly I don't want them to be too kind of blocky um, but I just need a little bit more shape and then once I get to the front I kind of do like little flicking motions um, upwards to kind of avoid any like harsh lines or making them look too square so just flick from the bottom and then just ensure that I brush the product through. Okay, so the next step is a must when it comes to looks like this. Um, just because I feel like it kind of completes your whole like eye look. So what we're going to do is carve out underneath the brow using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Light Sand. So this is lighter than my foundation. So it will kind of act as like a highlight and to also um, shape and define the brows at the same time. And especially when you're working with like darker colours, I just feel like it creates a really nice contrast against the um, like smoky eye. So I'm going to use a MAC 242 brush to carve underneath the brow. So next for concealer, I'm going to go in with the same um, as before, which, which is what I used um, underneath my brows. So again, like I always say, a little bit goes a long way with this concealer. So I'm just going to kind of dot it rather than sweep it everywhere you can always add more if you need to and then highlight a little bit kind of down the center yeah probably just going to leave it there for now and then use the same damp sponge so I always start quite low and then work my way up to right underneath the eye because that way it just avoids too much product under there and then when, when you've got too much product underneath your eye that's when it starts to like crease 
I'm just going to set everything in place with my Huda Beauty powder. Just going to kind of lightly bake. I'm kind of just baking on the areas where I tend to crease. So that is like in between the brows and my smile line. So I'm just lightly baking. And this kind of look I would only really do for like a night out, like proper like clubbing <laughs> not that we can go clubbing at the moment but this is that kind of look i wouldn't bake every day so feel free to um, skip this step i'm going to go in with a light layer of bronzer this is a well loved um, mac mineralized skin finish in the shade dark deepest so when going in with a darker lip i definitely feel like you kind of have to warm up your skin more so than you um, normally need to so I'm just going to do a light layer of bronzer like first and then I know I can come back in a little bit later when I've got the um, lip on because I might need to add a little bit more. Same with like blusher, um, sometimes you might need to add a bit more blush because the lip is so bold, sometimes it can take away all of the colours from you, the skin. Um, and kind of wash you out a little bit so for eyeshadow i'm actually going to start off with the morphe 35 um, c palette which is called everyday chic so i just received this um whoopsie the names from morphe so i thought i'd try it out it is definitely cooler tone to what i'm used to i might use some other of my morphe um eyeshadows i don't know because this isn't really focusing on the palette i just want to create an autumnal makeup tutorial to kind of inspire you so as always you don't have to use the same eyeshadows as me just whatever you have at home whichever is similar um so yeah let's just get on to the tutorial so i'm gonna go in with this color here which is called weekend plans so it's a very very neutral toned brown so it is kind of i would go for something that is a few shades darker than your natural skin tone but slightly cooler so just go in with um just a neutral mid-tone brown and we're going to start to work that through the natural crease of the eye from the inner and outer corner you know the drill but i don't mind using a brush that is quite reasonably um large and fluffy because we don't want to be too neat with it, we're just kind of getting it all over the crease and slightly above as well. I like this colour, yes. It's, nice. it's a nice change to go in with something a little bit cooler than like my normal orangey tones. And you just want to build that up a couple times till you get a little bit more depth. So kind of do like a wash of colour. And then focus it a little bit more in the crease just to kind of get a bit more depth there. Okay, so I do want something not necessarily warm, but I just need like one shade darker than that. And in this palette, I feel like um, this colour is a little bit too dark to go in next. I might go in with it later, but I kind of always want like a, a mid colour um, between. So I like to go in with a light and then a medium and then a dark so I have this colour from the Maddie Ziegler, Ziegler Imagination Palette and I used this before and a lot of you said you wanted to see more looks with it which I will do but it has a really nice sandy brown um, which is this colour here or it's we've got this one which is called Latte. Um, I might go in with Latte because that one isn't as warm as this one and like I said I don't want it to be too warm so just um, anything that is kind of reasonably um, on the like sandy side <laughs> if that makes sense I mean I'm not very good at um, explaining colours so <laughs> just go in with a similar colour to that again it's just very very neutral it doesn't have too much red in it I'm just using the same brush because I don't mind being too neat and we're just working that into the crease once more and once you've got the colour on there kind of work it upwards and blend the edges just kind of in circular motions once you've got the colour on there you can kind of go in circular motions to like blend out the edge so there's no harsh lines to add a little bit more depth i'm going to go into the shade m3 from the same imaginary 
pal imagination imagination palette um, with a more with the Spectrum B07 brush because this is more tapered just to kind of focus it um, in the crease a little bit more. I know I said I wanted it more cool tone, but it was looking too cool tone. Um, I just want it really neutral. I don't want it too warm. Don't want it too cool. Just again, just deepening up that crease. Nothing fancy. I'm now going to go in with MAC Costa Riche um, eye pencil. So this is a really nice warm brown. I feel like it just shouts autumn. So I'm going to pop that in the waterline. And kind of focus it on the lower lash line as well to kind of act as a base. I've done this a couple times before just because it works so well as a base. And using a Morphe M431 brush, I am going to just lightly buff that pencil just to kind of blend it out a little bit. I'm then going to take um, the shade ASAP, ASAP, which is a really deep dark chocolate brown. It does have a slight, well it is shimmery but it's not like too glittery. So I kind of, I quite like that kind of look on the lower lash line, but feel free to go in with a matte colour if you prefer. But I don't feel like you could, you have to use matte on the lower lash line, but a deep dark um, kind of like satin colour works really well on the lower lash line. And I'm just going to work that in over the top of that pencil. And I'm using a Morphe 212 brush. And these um, satin colours in this palette is so, so creamy, so they blend really easily. Then using that same pencil brush and the shade M3, which is like the warmer sandy brown. I'm just going to blend that um, over the edges, so no harsh lines and it kind of just diffuses into like a lighter brown. I don't know why I have to use my hands. I want to make the bottom lash line too dark or too smoky because I am going to be going in with a darker um, lip so I don't want it to be like too crazy um, but that is pretty much it for the lower lash line so I'm going to go in with my lid colour now because I kind of wanted to do the lower lash line to get an idea of what I want to do for the lid I still don't know so I've just laid down um, some powder underneath my eyes just to catch this eyeshadow because I wasn't planning on using this but I've been wanting to use it since last autumn and it is like the perfect autumn-y colour but it is the Copper Sparkle Pigment by MAC and I haven't used this in so long and I kept meaning to last year and I completely forgot about it. Um, so I'm going to use this. Obviously feel free to use anything similar. I will link it in the description box because it is like a must have in your kit because it literally lasts so long. So I've just sprayed my brush with some Fix Plus and also I was worried about it falling down because it is a loose pigment. So um, I've sprayed my brush just to kind of act as like an adhesive. Okay, so I'm gonna use the color that I used on the lower lash line um, on the outer corner as well, just to deepen it up slightly. And I'm going to use a Morphe M456 brush, which is a flat, fluffy brush. So it's great for packing on colour and kind of blending out at the same time. So I'm just going to kind of pack it on, on the outer corner. So I'm going to use the Bomb Highlighter by Jaclyn Cosmetics on my brow bone, the inner corner, and also my cheekbone just to kind of tie everything together. And I'm going to use that on a MAC 242 brush. I'm just going to use quite a small brush to add the highlight, just so it's a little bit more precise. So I definitely prefer like a matte or like a satin blusher when I've got a dark lip on just so it's not like too much and it's just like a wash of colour rather than shimmer as well. So I've got the shade, what's this called? Uh, this is Style by MAC. I'm not sure if they still do this but 
I'll leave something similar down below if you do like this kind of colour. But I'm just going to pop that on the highest point of the cheeks. Just to kind of lift the cheek area. I've just gone and applied um, some mascara. <laughs> I couldn't get my words out there. Um, so for lashes, I'm going to use some new lashes that I received from Morphe. So I haven't used Morphe lashes before. But these are in the style slayage or slayage um but yeah they look really nice and wispy so i'm gonna give them a go so for lip color i'm gonna use a very old lipstick which is called film noir by mac it's a very deep dark like chocolate brown and then the closest lip liner i have is night moth which is more purpley but i thought as you're not gonna really see the lip liner so i'm gonna put the lip liner on first and align the lips so when you're working with a darker lip, you want to make sure that the sharpener is super, super sharp. The sharpener, <laughs> the pencil is super, super sharp to ensure you can get a nice, um, fine edge. <laughs> I really can't think today. Okay, so I'm just going to line them and slightly overdraw as well. Okay, so now I've got the liner on. I'm going to go ahead with the lipstick. Um, but that is pretty much the look finish. Yeah, I'm really happy with how it turned out. I haven't worn a dark lip in ages, but I always like it when I wear it and I never do. But yeah, I hope you liked it and hopefully it inspired you to do something a little bit more autumnal. Autumn is like my favourite time of year for like colour wise and it just gets me in the mood ready for Christmas. So yeah, let me know what you want to see next. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching and you'll see me in my next one. Bye.